Hello gladiators, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim. Um welcome. I'm so excited to see you guys. It's been a while um since I've uploaded. I feel like <laughs> it's either I'm uploading like bam 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 or homegirls missing like what are we doing okay oh my god excuse my ashy hands life has been crazy busy and so yeah but i'm back although school starts monday so <laughs> catch me while you can <laughs> um today's video by the title is i'm just gonna be talking about my COVID journey and kind of like how i got it how i felt what i did to um speed up recovery how i'm feeling now that all that jazz so if you are interested then i um hope you keep watching before i get into the video i just want to say if you have negative comments um keep them to yourself okay because i just i'm not here for them and um i really don't care i'm always open to hearing people's opinions and things but if you're gonna be rude or um nasty i'm not open to that like this channel is all about positivity so baby we're not doing that okay nay nay um <laughs> can you tell i've been watching bailey syrian so the first things first no i am not vaccinated um honestly i'm still deciding if i am gonna get vaccinated just because I don't ever get sick and then you guys are like but you got sick so um I feel like I just got over COVID so I'm like let me give it a little bit of time before I just go you know get vaccinated but <laughs> um so I don't know if you're vaccinated let me know in the comments below if you're not let me let, like let's have an open discussion tell me why you're vaccinated tell me why you're not vaccinated um again don't be rude or nasty okay so here is the tea all right <laughs> here's the tea guys okay so basically what had happened was <laughs> i'm kidding let me stop okay so what happened is my family we took a vacation to um vegas and uh it was a family trip we haven't had a family trip since 2019 we went to uh disney world and so we're in vegas living it up like <laughs> It was lit if you weren't there. <laughs> just kidding. But no, seriously, it was so much fun. Um, especially just getting to see like my um I don't know. I mean they're my cousins, but um they're more like like my aunts because they're older than me, but it was just really good to see them because I haven't seen them in so so long. But anyways, that's not what this is about. So we had a really good time and then from Vegas we flew home to Houston for like I think we were there for like a day or two and um just because it was cheaper to fly back from home from Houston back to here um and so I'm thinking because nobody else in our family got sick from Vegas so I'm thinking it's when we flew back to Houston that this happened um all I remember is when we we're flying back, my dad was just saying he just wasn't feeling good. And, you know, my dad's kind of dramatic. Um, not gonna lie. <laughs> he's kind of dramatic. So I'm like, okay, he's not feeling good. You know, he got his gallbladder removed. So, you know, everything just flows through, if you know what I mean. I'm not gonna get into details. <laughs> so, yeah, my dad wasn't feeling good. And then, um, I think it was like two days later or so um I got like a little tingle in my throat and I was just kind of like okay like <laughs> I feel like at the beginning of the pandemic I was like oh my god is this Rona but like even pre-COVID um I would just get like random tingles in my throat because I'm weird like that and I choke on air and all this stuff and my body's weird but like if I sleep under the fan if it's too cold in my room and I sleep under it I can wake up with like a little <clears throat> in my throat, you know? So I didn't think anything of it. And my dad texts me and he's like, hey, how are you feeling? And I'm like, my dad never texts me, first of all. But I'm like, oh, I'm fine. Like I'm at work. I just got a little tingle in my throat, whatever. And he's like, okay, cause me, your brother 
and your mom were all sick. And I'm like, well, that's kind of strange. <laughs> it's so funny because my first thought was not COVID. It was just like, okay, y'all are sick. Like, Why my first thought was in COVID, I have no idea. But the next day at work, I'm like telling them, I'm like, oh my God, it's so cold in here. It's so cold. And mind you, it's like 100 degrees outside. But inside, I'm like, it's freezing in here. Like, it's freezing. I am cold, guys. I literally went home on my lunch break and I got my big old hoodie that I wear in the winter. And I was wearing that inside. <laughs> I was so freaking cold and I kept telling <laughs> sick nice to me I'm like I am so cold and she's like are you okay and I'm like I don't know I don't think I feel great um like I don't think I feel good but it's really cold in here so I'm there all day right and then the next and then that night is when shit starts hitting the fan you know I like I went from being super cold to being hot, like sweating. I was sweating out everything. I was, I'm just going to say it. I was pooping. I was throwing up. It was awful. Like, I was like, what is this? Is this what they were talking about when they said they were sick? And it's funny because my dad had sent some pictures and he was like sweating too. And he just kept saying like he was really getting really hot as well and sweating and all this stuff. And still, I'm not like COVID is not on my mind. Like, I'm like, whatever. So I went to work the next day. I think I started wearing a mask because I was like, um, I'm not trying to get anybody sick. Like I have all these germs. And I just like, I just wasn't feeling great at all. Um, I just like had a headache and I felt so nauseous and I just felt so, so tired and like, just not good and I kept switching from like hot and cold and it was like either I was really really cold or I was sweating like drenched in sweat and so I think um my dad went to go get a COVID test I can't remember what day but as soon as he got one um that's when I went and got one and then um, his came back positive and me and Caden's came back positive and then I had to tell like my job like I have COVID and it was just like it was so funny because everybody kept commenting on my mask at work they're like why are you wearing a mask like why are you wearing a mask because I'm not about to have y'all be like Kim started it Kim did it like no 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 we're not we're not blaming this on Kim okay we're not blaming it on her sis did what she needed to do okay sis started taking the proper precautions okay we me and Caden tested positive for COVID and um luckily my job super understanding I was able to stay home um and get paid <laughs> and I'm like part-time so this is like a blessing like God was really looking out for your girl okay um so that happens I'm still feeling so sick, so disgusting. Obviously, we're in quarantine. We're at the house. Caden is bouncing off the flipping walls, guys. I'm telling you, as soon as he opens his eyes until he closes them at night, this kid is everywhere just doing stuff like going, going, going. I'm like, how did he test positive for COVID? Because he is still operating as if nothing is wrong with him. I think maybe one day he told me like I was like how are you feeling and he said like his head was hurting and like his throat hurt um and his ears hurt that was one day one day one and we've been trapped in the house together and I'm over here like I don't want to say dying because people are actually dying but like feels like I'm dying trying to rest like I literally would sleep all day guys like I would wake up at like nine ish and then I would like make sure Kaden was good whatever I would take a nap I would wake up until like six o'clock it was so crazy this this virus this thing was so crazy like I said in the beginning I do not get sick like I don't get sick ever 
and that's just I don't know if it's like how I was raised or whatever like my parents never really took us to the doctor unless it was like for our, our checkup or we had to get a physical um so I was never always at the doctor for things except for my ear like I have a video on my channel about my ear that's the only thing that's ever like been wrong with me I've always been a really healthy kid never really got sick um I might get canceled for this or whatever I don't know I don't get the flu shot I've never gotten the flu shot and I've never had the flu so for me when everybody's like oh COVID vaccine it was like it wasn't that I didn't want the vaccine it's just like I don't get the flu vaccine and I've never had the flu I get all the recommended other things like meningitis things that are like required for school and stuff like I get those because like when I go to the doctor they're like hey you need this but it was just like for COVID and for the flu it's just like I never I like for the flu especially it's like I never have gotten it and I've never gotten the flu so with COVID it was just kind of like it doesn't make sense for me to get the vaccine because if I get the vaccine most likely I'll get COVID because that's what I've seen with the flu shot like if when my mom got the flu shot she got the flu every other time we've never gotten the flu we've never gotten the flu shot and we've never gotten the flu and I know people are probably like that's because other people got the flu shot or whatever but I don't know it's just in my head that's how it made sense so me being sick <clears throat> um like that was awful for me and luckily like I said I'm a, I'm really healthy and not really healthy I say that like I literally eat out almost every other day um so I just honestly thank God for my health because sorry my camera keeps like moving I honestly just think I honestly just thank God for my health because I don't eat the healthiest I don't like exercise but I've always been very healthy like when I go to the doctor you're like yep you're good like I've never had those problems and so my body obviously was able to like heal itself but it's it took a lot out of me like I can tell like when I get like colds and things usually it's gone in like a day or two but this like was just something so different and I feel like people still think it's like a hoax or like a joke or thing and that's not the case I think in my head you hear like some people say it's not as bad like it's like the same symptoms as the flu or whatever but I've never had the flu so I didn't know what that was like um I guess I should go through my symptoms so I had um I lost my taste and smell I had um I had the cough uh the deep cough <laughs> you know I was throwing up I had the sweats and chills um I was pooping <laughs> like literally every thing that could happen to you when you're sick like I pretty much had um and it just was not fun I mean obviously being sick isn't fun but like this was like intense and I was like I can see how people are having a hard time and having to go to the hospital and having to be put on ventilators especially if they don't have a healthy immune system or they're not generally healthy because it takes a lot out of you and the other thing is you're so so tired and fatigued like guys I just told you like I would literally wake up from a full night's sleep and sleep the whole day it was so crazy and even now after I think it's been like um maybe like five days that I've been better I still am nauseous like I still like just have nausea because I did not eat or drink anything like that whole time really I tried to make myself drink because obviously fluids your body needs fluids and you need substance but I first of all I can taste or smell so I didn't want to eat anything and then when I tried to drink water it just tasted weird and juice tasted weird and everything just was like ugh and like even still now like I don't really want to eat or drink anything um because it still has that kind of like sensation I don't know if that it's like my body or like my mind like now associates food and like water with COVID <laughs> so basically I don't want to eat or drink and so um 
that's been a little difficult because I still get nauseous. Um, but I'm slowly getting back into eating and drinking. Other thing is I am still like super tired. My body's still like recuperating, even though I'm, I tested negative and I'm feeling a lot, a lot better. There's still like, I don't want to say symptoms, but there's still side effects from COVID that I've never gotten from like, you know, having a cold or whatever. So, um, yeah, let me think if there's anything else that I wanted to say or talk about. Um, I think some of the things that I did, um, towards the end of like my COVID, um, stay thing is I started taking vitamin C. I took some zinc. Um, also I had Tylenol. I took, um, some kids Tylenol just for the pain. Oh, that was a thing. Oh my God. My body was so freaking sore. How did, can I forget that? My back was like, it was like I was pregnant again. It was literally like I was pregnant again. It felt like I was carrying, like I was 40 weeks pregnant with Caden again. My back was killing me. It was so crazy. <laughs> Sorry, I just remembered that. Like, it was so crazy. But um, yeah, so those things kind of helped. I took orange juice every, like I tried to drink orange juice every morning um, again. It didn't taste good, so I would like take maybe two sips and then I pour it out. Sorry, I have a I have a guest here. Do you want to say anything about coronavirus? Um, no, I uh, say something. You want to talk about how you felt? How did you feel during COVID? I felt um so sad during COVID. <laughs> did you did you hurt anywhere? Where'd you hurt? Um, no, for COVID, where did you hurt? Did your throat hurt in your head when you said your ears? Yeah. Would you recommend getting COVID? No. Yeah. So <laughs> I would 10 out of 10 would not recommend, um, having coronavirus. So with that being said, um, guys, we, we, we were a mess everywhere. Yeah, we were a mess. You saw mommy throwing up and everything, yeah. She was throwing up in the toilet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but this one was taking care of me. He was trying and he was cheering me up. So. I was trying to do the best. Yeah, he was doing the best he can at, at five years old taking care of his, his mommy. So I love this little boo-boo. But um, with that being said, guys, move. But with that being said, guys, please, please be safe out here in these streets, okay? Um, coronavirus is not a joke. Because <laughs> um, if you get coronavirus, you will have it a long time. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, just make sure you guys are being safe. Wear your mask. Um, social distance. If you want to get the vaccine, get the vaccine. If you don't, just don't, don't go don't. outside. <laughs> <laughs> don't go outside. Or don't be around other people. Yeah. No. <laughs> and if you're allergic to water, stay away from water. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions about kind of like how COVID affected me, if I missed anything or um, anything like that, leave it in the comment box below. Uh, again, stay safe out here in the streets. We love you guys. Remember to let your light shine and to body it gracefully. And we will catch you guys. Can I say something? Mommy, let's, let's get a million hundred subscribers. Okay, well, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, So, yeah. <laughs> you guys take care. We love you. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe. And we so we can get 100 likes. of, So we can get 100 Bucks, so y'all have to bring 100 bucks to me. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, we love you guys. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Peace. <laughs> Peace.